Hi, my name is Kim Schuster. I'm a senior process engineer at Solvay in Winder, Georgia. The chemical engineering principle that I'd like to talk to you about today is heat and energy balance. I learned about this in my first two years at Penn State and I've been able to apply it regularly throughout my job. I use it in the traditional sense for sizing heat exchangers and determining the amount of heat load that needs to be removed from reactions to purchase new equipment. But I've also been able to use this principle to do some safety analysis for the plant. We had a scenario where we were evaluating over temperature and what the effects would be in the reactor. I was able to do the heat and energy balance with the initial temperature that we had to evaluate what the final temperature would be if we lost cooling during an emergency situation at the plant and determine if we would have an excursion that would exceed the safe operating limits for the reactor. With your standard energy balance of equation, Q equals MCP delta T. I was able to calculate my Q value based on the heat of reaction that was known for the reaction that was occurring. I knew how many pounds of material would be reacting and what the heat of reaction was, and with those two numbers, I was able to calculate the total BTUs that would be produced by the reaction. With those values, I was able to determine that I would have a change in temperature of 25 degrees Kelvin. I knew that the hottest material that would be transferred into the reactor was going to be at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I used this as the temperature in the reactor as a worst case scenario. Given that number and the delta T that I calculated on the previous slide, I was able to determine that the final temperature in the reactor would be 164 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of the energy balance that I was able to do, we were able to show that we would be in a safe condition even if we lost cooling during the critical stage of this reaction and we did not need to add additional safeguards to the reactor.